What's up everybody, this is the YouTube Troll and I'm here with Sin Siege. Introduce yourself, my man. Uh, how are you guys? I'm Sin Siege and my YouTube channel is Project Iron Sky. Alright, so me and Siege were talking about the new um, Edo Kage's Khan and we, we kind of started talking about it because um, actually Sin Siege loves the Edo Kage's and he was actually super disappointed like a lot of us but you know he's a big fan of the Edo Kage's and he was disappointed he wasn't able to play them on Storm 3 so I decided you know to bring him over it was actually his idea to do the discussion but you know I decided to do the discussion right now and just talk about a few things so the first thing is you know the Edo Kage is being confirmed and I'm gonna let you talk first uh, Siege so go ahead tell me what you oh. think man um like this this was the whole like you know, game breaker for me if they were in the game or not because um, two of my favorite characters are uh, Gara's dad and Mu. And then, you know, I like I like the second Mizukage and uh, the Raikage too. And, you know, I played the mod and, mind you, I don't have the mod where it has the Kaze Kage for some reason they include it, but I've played as all of them except Kaze Kage. And, you know, I love how they play even though the Raikage really sucks, but I think they might uh, have redone their moveset. I don't know. They probably didn't, knowing CC2. But most likely. I mean, regardless, it's <laughs> regardless, uh, it's still nice. And uh, there are ultimates from what we like briefly saw in the scan. It does look the little snippet they have. Uh, does they do look nice, which is pretty cool. Yeah. But, um, um, yeah. The Edo Kages, man, right here on the scan. You know, you know, it's not a fucking troll because they actually went out of the way to specify how they were going to be played and how they were going to actually be in the game. And they're playable. And on the scan, you can see the ultimates and all that crap. You can see everything. And just so you know that they're going to actually be playable besides the fact that they tell you. Um, yeah. And I'm excited mostly for, honestly, Mu. I don't know why, but I really don't give a fuck about any of the other Kages besides Mu. Because, you know, like Gara's dad doesn't seem interesting to me. Uh, in terms of like fighting, because he uses like dust, uh, what is it, like the gold sand, gold or whatever. Dust. Yeah, um, and I mean, I'm super hyped up because not only did we get to see that Edo Kages are confirmed, but you know, the, the ultimates look pretty cool for what is seen in the scan. It's just a screenshot, mind you, but I really like this, this, the second, uh, what is it, second Misukage's jutsu. It looked oh, pretty yeah. nice though. Like, you saw that, right? Where he was, like, doing little finger gun shit? You know, if it's anything how it was in the anime, when he summons the giant clam, and then he comes yeah. behind you and just shoots you, like he did with Onoki, it'll probably most likely be something like that, I would imagine. Yeah, because yeah. from what you sent me on Skype, like, I read it, and he said something about how he uses his genjutsu and then shoots you with it, you know. So, something's telling me, okay, then this means that, that that's the case. It's probably going to use the clam. And then he's gonna proceed to doing the, the water gun thing, but um, all right, um, that that's pretty much it that we have for you know Edokage is being confirmed. Now let's talk about the team ultimates and how they all, all fit the game and how you can use them in the game. And you know, since each, I would just explain a little bit further so that way you know people can understand. Um, with the team ultimates, I want to know. It, how far they'll go out towards like even i can use this now as an example cause since now we know, we know he's going to be in the game yeah but like well gara's dad and gara have uh like a thing our custom t uh ultimate together like how far will this go out or even like something like like with mu and onoki like double particle style like the, they'll do something like that i want to know how far out they're going to do it besides just like oh they'll have Team Seven, then they'll have like you know Shikacho. Like I, I know for like that we're gonna see stuff like that. But how far out will they go with it? Yeah. I think that's the real like the what will measure how grave a feature this will be. Yeah, yeah, because I know what you're saying. Because Naruto and Sasuke have that combined shit that they combined jutsu. So I think it'd be fucking nice if they added with you know things uh, catch that like a lot in common. For example, the Kage is have a lot of, in common with the current generation of Kage. So, you know, Third Rite Kage with I, uh, Mu with um, the Suchikage, uh, on Onoki, and then, you know, so on and so forth. And I think it'd be pretty cool if they did that, you know, even if they added, um like, Mei Terumi with the second Misu Kage, that'd be that's fucking nice, dude. Because... I was saying how, like, they could do something with Yagura, Mei Terumi, and the Mizu Kage. Yeah, yeah, like, 
like just in general, if if they had that for like all the characters that had something in common with each other, that'd be fucking nice, dude. Because that would obviously make it something new and refreshing for the Storm series, because they haven't done that uh, in any of the Storm games actually. Um, so yeah. that's pretty much I gotta say about that about the Ultimates. What about you, Siege? Uh, no, that's really it. All right, so let's move on to the third subject, which is. Might Gin and Kin be added along with the Seven Ninja Swordsman? I don't know. Because <laughs> if, if you remember me telling you, I did not even think Edo Kage's were going to be in it. Yeah, yeah. Well. I, I don't know. Like, I want to have it a 50 50 because, I mean, there aren't, I mean, we haven't seen too many new characters. Like, what, that's seven? But then there's going to be the Edo Hokages, and we don't know if like those will count as like actual new characters by CC2 standards. Yeah, um, I I can see Gin and Ken. I don't know about the Swordsman. That's that's my take on it. Honestly, I feel the exact opposite. I feel like they should add the set. Like most likely they'll add the Seven Ninja Swordsman, and Gin and Ken might be left out because the thing is they got a shit ton of backlash from the Edo Kage thing coming out on, on Storm 3 being story mode. And then after that, like, the next thing that, that had, like, the most backlash before that was the, the um, what is it, Seven Ninja Swordsman. So most likely, if I'm correct, man, and, and they're going to choose between Gin and Ken or the Seven Ninja Swordsman, they're going to go with the Seven Ninja Swordsman. And, you know, just the fact that on the scan they pointed out that the Edo Kages are going to be playable because of Storm 3, everybody ha uh, was requesting it. This is what I think that's gonna happen if they add it. You know, they're gonna they're gonna just go with the seven ninja swordsman. But I could be wrong. We might both be wrong, and they might not even add either. You know, like Kino Ken or the seven ninja swordsman. Uh, well, let's be happy they uh, they have both of them in the same scenario. Well, they'll be in a revolution, but hell yeah, I guess man. we'll see. Yeah. All right. So, you know, we're pretty much done with the subjects, man. Now. I, we just want to talk about like our overall feelings on Revolution thus far, uh, you know, considering this can came out and you know the little bit of information came out as well. So how about you do it, Siege? Uh, I I'm anticipating the game now because, like I said, now that I know Edo Kage is going to be in it, I'm prompt to buy this game, and uh, I have a, more hope for CC2 now since they kind of redeem themselves with uh, this new scan. And, you know, maybe this will be something definitely new. Hopefully they'll fix the Instant Awakening and fix characters like Nagato and Hanzo. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. Yeah, man, honestly, I that, that's all I could really ask for, you know, just them maybe polishing up the characters that, that are already in Storm 3 and stuff. Uh, if they're going to add them back to Revolutions, obviously, you know, polish them a bit more. Uh, make their combos, their moveset, the entire thing, just make it a little bit more balanced as well. Because I know that it's a fucking bitch and I have to, you know, work on a video game. But you could at least try to polish it now that they know what's wrong with what character. And it'll definitely be a step forward in the right direction for them. Um, I, I, I'm honestly going to get Revolutions, hopefully for both consoles. Because, you know, I have subs on PS3 and Xbox and I want to play with everybody. Um, but... That's all. That's all we gotta talk about, man. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the discussion. Uh, how about you sign us off, see? Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, man. All right. So, um, you know, make sure to check out Siege on his YouTube channel. I'm gonna put it in the description. Uh, he just made his channel, but he has awesome videos. He's a pro player. So, if you guys wanna see gameplay from him, make sure to subscribe. All right. Peace.